jerks. Everybody in this game is a jerk. Look at that. Look at this jerk. I've got 2,200 souls. I'm a cool person, aren't I? Hey, look. I got my humanity back, and I got another one from that dude. What a delightful day this has turned out to be. Maybe I shouldn't be complaining as much. Hey, look. Fireball. Boom. Fireball right into the side of the wall. Oh, see, I was going to... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. See, I had a funny joke that I was going to do, and it didn't work. Oh, God. Um, it didn't kill you. Hold on, hold on. Funny joke, see. Um, see. No, no, see. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Let me... Let me tell the joke, dude. All right, so um, let me no see. Let me let me tell let me tell the joke. Hold on, um, let me tell it. Let me tell it. Y y no, see. Um, wait. Let me hold on. Let me tell this joke real quick. Um, see. God. Hold on. Let me let me, let me let me tell tell me let me tell this joke. You wouldn't let me tell the joke. You're an ass. I was just gonna say. Um. Um. Actually, I didn't even have a one-liner prepared. All right, take two. The magical night. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're not gonna fight this dude down here with this guy as well. Um, yo, can I not die for like one day? Could you not block the staircase for me to escape? And could I not die like that? Just for once. You know, just, just for once. All right, so, um, see, this is what, what I wouldn't do during a zombie apocalypse. I, I wouldn't go around trying to swing an axe at people and think I'm a badass like that and uh, get shot by arrows all the time from zombies. Because zombies are going to be able to shoot arrows, obviously. Um, because they're cool like that. And, um, they don't afraid of anything. Um. No, I would find a group of people who hate zombies as much as I do. And we would bicker and argue. And life would be horrible. And that's what I would do during a zombie apocalypse. Invincibility frames, bitch. Stop trying to hit me. Get racked. See, you took too long. And I backstabbed you. You just got shamus. Alright, here's what we do. We go in here. We say, hey, you're a jerk. He walks over and he's like, hey, I'm a big bad jerk too. Oh, see, um. You don't get the pleasure of being parried. Oh God, see, no, no. Cool. All right, what would you do if I sang out a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Friends, Roman countrymen, lend me your ears. Come to Barry Caesar, not to praise him. Give me these fire bombs. Okay. Just the one, actually. Okay. I don't like fire bombs, so I'm not going to use much other than for this purpose. Exactly. Oh, God. Fire bomb. Two for one? No, he didn't. Wow, he actually, like, smarted me out. What a jerk. I commend you, sir. It's actually... I don't think they've done that to me before. I feel a little duped. Bamboozled. Speckledorfed, maybe. Alright, I don't remember how or why or when I died. Um, 
but I will regain myself one day. Get right from behind, dude. Alright, you. You ready? Ready? Get airstruck! Alright, hold on. I got, a, I got a better one. Hold on. No, no. Go down the stairs. No, go down the stairs. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Alright, perfect. Oh, no. See, no. See, no. You're not supposed to do a joke. Alright, ready? Ready? Enemy is the other. Oh, see, I, I couldn't do it, dude. I couldn't do it. Uh, no, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. No, no, dude. Stop. No. Hey. Well, baby, you're a firework. Oh! Go and make colors for it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. No, hold on. Stop. No, dude, wait. I got a joke to tell you. Hold on, dude. See? This is up. Okay, no. Come on. Follow me. Follow me, dude. Follow me. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you're going to love this one. Ready? Ready? Oh, see? You get stun blocked. Um, oh, God, dude. Stop. Stun blocked. Alright, stay. 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 Alright, ready? 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 Enemy AC 130 inbound. Oh! You just died. Uh, that was a good one. Tactical nuke inbound. That was another one I could have used. Um, well, it's been it's been nice talking to you again, Mr. Black Knight. But I'm I'm gone. See ya. I'm booking it. I don't think there's another guy up here. I think I killed him. Yeah, man, I killed him. All right. Um, I got a lot of stuff that I don't want to lose. I prefer not losing it. So what we're going to do is um, suicide run through this after leveling up. Um, because that's the best way to play this game. Is completely going balls to the wall, suicide running everything. Um, I also kind of want to make this place better prepared. So what we're going to do is reverse our hollowing for a sec. Yeah, we're going to offer up a humanity to reverse our hollowing. Then we're going to kindle this fire. Um, because I'm going to be coming back here a lot. Yeah. Alright. Um, that gives us 10 Estus Flasks and a lot more healing power, right? And then we come here and we level up our vitality, our endurance. Uh, not the attunement because that's stupid. Our vitality again and sure, why not our... No, we need our decks up. We need our decks up to about 10, I think, is what it needed. Um... So let me see, before we go into battle, um, let me see if I can equip this bow. So I need, how much? 12? 12 decks. 12 decks is what I need. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get that then. And um, just have a bow handy for when I need it later. Um, oh. Um, can I come up here? and fight in a more advantageous position for both of us. Yeah, that works much better. So now we just suicide run. No, like literally suicide run it seems. Holy cow, okay. I was not fast enough. I did not do what I needed to do. And because of it, I failed. Not only you, but myself. I got a message from Skype. Let me see if it's from... Um, it's from Anime Club. And... I think it's a, a picture. Actually. I think it's a picture. It better not be a picture making my game crash. It's, it's not making my game crash. But it is a picture, and I hope to God it's not of me being an idiot. Because there's a lot of those out there that you could find. Off you go into the wild blue yonder. Up so high into the sky. Pandas are people too. And uh, that's our public service announcement for the day. Pandas are people too. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that public service announcement. We will not be doing those again. Can I just, like, not get killed immediately when I walk into that room? I prefer it. 
honestly. Like, I know I'm failing at life by running into a place where I know there's a lot of people. Like, I know that's a bad idea. And that I probably shouldn't be doing it. But for once, could I not die and get through that room? Because if I get through that room, I'm good. I'm golden. You know what? No, this, we're just going. We'll just go. Alright, I almost got stuck on a door. That would have made this so much harder. Um, but now... Uh, we're speedrunning this game, guys, at this point. Um, so, congratulations, Michael. Thank you, Spear Guy, for getting out of my way. Thank you, Sword Guy, for getting out of my way. All the jukes. Um, it's like I'm playing Madden 15 right here, dude. Like, I'm seriously going ham with running. And for those of you wondering why I'm playing this game after it's been out for so long, it's because I'd rather not have played it when I first got it. Um, so, uh, you guys can't come through that. Um, <laughs> so you guys are kind of screwed. I want to kill these guys before the fight starts, is why I'm coming up here. Um, backstab. So. you dead. I need to remember how to climb down this quicker. Is, is there... Is it? It's B. It's B. All right, future Michael. B. Remember the B button, and uh, you should be golden. So where does he come from? Actually, I don't remember. Okay, he comes from that side. Cool. So all I gotta do is climb up this thing about three times, and we're golden. Like the dude literally gets wrecked. Ready? Bam. Look at that. Beautiful amount of damage. And now what I do is I come around here like so. And roll my ass all the way over here. Alright. Get him to attack while I'm over this way. Underneath. And then we come back and do the exact same thing over again. See, this is what you need to do in a zombie apocalypse. You need to think smart like this. Um, even if... It means exploiting weaknesses that um, should not actually be there. Uh, do it, because that's how life works. You know, you just figure out how to cheat the system and you win. That's literally how life works. Like, don't don't tell anyone that I told you that, but that's how life works. Oh, see, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Um, that's a huge part of why you die, is because you do stupid stuff like that. Um, hopefully he doesn't hit me. He didn't hit me, luckily. Um, he might jump up here, though, and that scares me a little bit. So, he didn't. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, we're gonna get a little tricky here. Um, and see if... We can throw fire at him instead. Um, and we can't because he doesn't like that idea at all, and he he punishes me for it. Um, okay, so underneath and fire, you die. You die. And I estus up with him destroying himself in the background. That's a beautiful scene. I got a humanity and a homer bone, by the way. So. Um, hopefully I can get another humanity on the way going to the next place. Um, we're also going to be joining a new covenant in this episode, surprisingly enough. Um, we've already, like, done quite a bit, right? You would think. But no, we haven't even defeated the first mini-boss, really. Like, those two guys that we fought, um, the Asylum Demon and that dude, um, I don't even really consider them to be mini-bosses. I, they're like mini, mini bosses. Like, halfway stage bosses as you fight in uh, Mario games. That's basically what these are. Oh, it's locked. I have the master key, right? So I should be able to take that out, right? 
Or should I just break it down? Like, let's just break down the door. I can't do that. Okay, cool. Thanks, game. You lied to me. You said the master key opens pretty much any door. And it didn't open that one. Hey, what's up, my friend? Ah, hello. All right. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead... There's our shot. This great That's land, beautiful. The birthplace of Lord right. Gwynnor, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide the reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> my hand is glowing. Oh. My hand is glowing, dude. So I didn't I'm a freaking sun god. I have a proposition. I'm the best. A I'm the best around. No one's ever gonna keep me down. I'm the best around. No one's ever gonna keep me down. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. Oh, oh, praise the sun. I'm actually doing it right now as I sit down. I'm just praising the sun. So what do you say? Why not help one? On this lonely <sighs> yes, I decide yes. It pleases me greatly. Can I have a, a white sign stop zone? Indeed. We are amidst the Thank you. The flow okay. Of time um, I'd rather not have you guys have to listen to the entire freaking thing. Um, the very fabric because it is a lot of dialogue. And I can't hear it because I've got the TV turned down because I'm using my Blue Yeti. And it's like right next to the TV, and I'd rather not do that and have feedback. So I'm just not listening. Jolly cooperation. I think that comes from Demon Souls, the game before Dark Souls, that was made by the same people in a similar world or the same world, but doesn't really correlate, you know? I think it's a similar world is why it doesn't correlate. I don't remember why. Um, it's kind of like Ico in uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Like, those two, maybe the same people, similar worlds, but completely different stories and stuff. Oh, so, whatever. The sun cool. The... Alright. So, one day, he will become very important to us. Today, he doesn't teach us how to praise the sun. So, um, I don't need him. Can I... Uh, where is... There it is. There's the dragon in the fire. I'd rather not go through the fire and the flames to have to carry on. I'd rather not carry on my wayward son either. Alright, so now we've got... We've got an option here. And I'm going to be taking the right. For some reason he didn't care. Alright. I thought for sure he was going to attack. But he didn't. So we kick down this ladder down there, and we can see that that leads us to that bonfire. I would normally sit at it, and uh, because normally is almost all the time, I will sit at it. Um, the people that are here, I think, are still trying to chase me. So now they're not chasing me anymore. Um, and that is for the better. So we'll get our decks up those points, and we'll get up our endurance. Our vitality is decent. I don't have to worry about that too much. It's more my running around because that's how I play. I just play like a just quick paced game because it's fun like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm almost out of time, I think. I have 15 minutes left. Cool. Um, so we can do uh, two more things, I think, that I like doing. Um... So I just stand here and gain a bunch of souls like that. Um, pretty easy grinding spot if you can watch out for being caught on fire. Don't set me on fire like the hit pendulum song because um, that hurts a lot. It's alright, that dragon will get what for in a second because um, there's something else that I wanted to do. Which I don't think I have time for actually now that I think about it because it takes a long time to do. Um, sit down at the bonfire, leave the bonfire. See, I don't think that it's a problem to sit down at a bonfire and reset everything if there's something nearby. But it might. It might be a problem. 
So let me actually go ahead and do that again. So this, is a, this is a pretty quick, like, way to... Way to do stuff. Look at that. Just straight up and down. Just like that. And um, now I'm going back down here. Cool. That's an easy grind spot if you're into those. I currently don't care enough. Um, but I do want to level up another time to get my vitality up one. And now I can use that bow, by the way. So let me equip that um, to this slot here with my arrows equipped to that slot there. And if I climb up and... See, I don't know how this is going to work. What do I have to do? I might have to get rid of one. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have to get rid of it at all. All right, and here's what we do. We wait for it on the backswing, and it missed. On the backswing, and we hit. There we go. And uh, he does this whole rigmarole where he comes by and does all that. I got to watch out because there is something over there um, that we don't want to fight just yet. Nice undead body dude thing. Boom, hit you in the tail. I think it takes about 20 of these arrows. So um, while we're doing this, and I don't have to really think much, just sort of pressing buttons, we can finally do the talk about zombies, and that will finish off this episode. Or whatever this ends up being, maybe two episodes. It finishes off this session um, of recording. So um, in the Zombocalypse, I probably would have a group of maybe like eight people that I'd want to hang out with. And I want everybody in that group to specialize in something. Um, so we'd have like a healing person who like knows medicine. Um, we'd have somebody who knows weaponry. Somebody who knows how to just survive in general. Um, so like a boy scout or something like that. I'd have somebody that would be my like builder so that we can help rebuild the uh, world. Or if we just wanted to find a place to stay, they would be able to build us a shelter of some sort. Um, they could also be a tech person and fix up some technology, make us some bombs and some cool weaponry and stuff like that so that we can survive even longer. Cool stuff like that. Um, I'd want somebody who would know like uh, at least a little bit about like um, how berries and stuff like that work and be able to cook them up and uh, make sure that they're safe. That way we can survive and eat food. Um, could be the same person that has... Uh, just survival technology, not technology, but survival uh, know-how anyway. But whatever the case, um, those things would probably be some of the most important to me. And I also kind of want somebody who could lead the group. So somebody who knows how to lead. And um, that would not be me. As for me, I would just be the dude that would need saving all the time. I'm sure of it. Um, I can wield a baseball bat, so... I mean, I could, I could crack some skulls open with that, I guess. And um, I've held a gun once. Um, it was a Nerf gun, mind you. But it was a gun, so I think it'd be fine. I'd, I would be so screwed in this apocalypse, honestly. I have no training whatsoever. And I'm going to write a book about that. A guy based off of me by the name of Matthias. And it's basically going to be like how I would survive... Um, is how he survives, and it's gonna be his story from like day one, like zero hour or whatever, up until he meets the group that would be in the main story that I had planned. But it would be like a smaller short story, just outside of the regular thing. It's in the same realm and all, you know. Like I'd have the story consist of the eight main characters, and he would just be like a minor character that I'd throw in later on who's like cool like reference to a short story that I did and it makes people think ah oh, he's a cool dude he remembers characters and brings them back or oh this dude had this plan from the start you know something like that 
some pretty cool stuff like that and cool like that cool like that oh just for those of you who are new to this channel i'm not an egotist um in fact i'm probably far from it i hate myself and i only do that because it's funny so um yeah if you thought that i was like being serious <laughs> with my uh, complimenting myself um you got another thing coming that's not true all right so i think i missed three arrows so far so it's gonna be 47 if i continue to hit <clears throat> when this tail should fall off and give me an amazing sword that i can't wield until i have 20 strength and 15 decks or something 2015 coincidence i think so um all right yeah um if i were in a zombie apocalypse what kind of weapon would i use i don't know why i came up with that question just off the top of my head but i did and we're gonna answer it um, I would probably be a blunt objects dude. I'd be using like ball pin hammers and baseball bats and uh, stuff like that because I'd rather not have to get too close quarter combat with a knife and jab it in their skull. I'd rather have like an arm length away from them. Um, even though the ball point, or the ball pin, ball peen rather, a uh, hammer would be pretty close too. Um, it has multiple uses is one of the things I like about it. I'd also probably be using like a crowbar. I like the multiple use weapons that aren't just weapons and they can do other stuff. Um, like a baseball bat, hours of fun, or you could break it into a splint if you needed to. You'd want to wash it first because you're going to be busting up heads with it. Um, and that wouldn't be the smartest idea. But, um, yeah, you'd do it eventually. Uh, the crowbar helps you get into places. Uh, the hammer can help you nail down nails and uh, fortify stuff they're really good weapons all the blunt objects that I can think of they're literally um, some of them are really heavy though is the only problem with them like see there's the Drake sword do I get 2,000 souls for that too I don't get souls well then what was the point I just, I just wanted souls okay whatever uh, but yeah, that's kind of how I would fight in a Zombocalypse. Um, and then when the time came, I would probably use, a, if I could find one, like a semi-auto um, assault rifle of some sorts. An AR-15 maybe, something like that. If I could find it, like I said. Yeah, thanks. Just keep moving back for a second. Keep moving back for me, dude. Can you block that rat in there while you're in? Yeah, I can. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, see, this isn't what I was hoping for. I was hoping that would happen, though, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna work my way forward a little bit. There we go, take out one rat. Off the side you go. Off the side you go. Just like that. I'll take that SS flask to the bank. Rat, you're nasty. Go away. Look at that green stuff on his face. That's still ugly. I hate it. I don't think the rat's that bad. It's just that green stuff scares me. Okay. Um. Howdy. Just wanted to show you guys this dude. I'm not going to be fighting him right now. Um, but I'll take him on later. Headstrong to take on anyone. If only that song wasn't copywritten, I would be using it in like every single thing that I did. I'll be doing montages to that song. Like, that would be the greatest. Alright, so, um, that was Dark Souls. I think I'm done. I'm gonna load up the game and make sure that I have everything saved. And, um, then I'm going ahead and signing out. <clears throat> From Software. 
Thank you, From Software and Bandai, Nam uh, Bandai Namco and Havoc. Havoc, you've made some good games from my childhood. I have to admit. They are part of the making of... Um, what's the name called? Oh, hey, look, we're the same level. In, I'm almost in the same place as Norm. In less time. That's a little sad at how bad I was as Norm. Okay. Well, my name is the Jack Gamer 13. I'm going to go contemplate life for a bit now. And um, I'm signing out. Catch you guys next time.